here with head coach Eric Walsh. Coach, talk a little about how camp's been going for you guys this, this fall. Yeah, these guys are working really hard, and uh, they came in fit and healthy and excited to go. Uh, they've brought the mentality through the first few weeks or week or so of training, and um, they're just ready to get to West Virginia on Friday. You had a scrimmage last weekend. What types of things did you learn about your team, and then what type of adjustments have you made this week, maybe? Yeah, we, we got exposed a bit, and I thought Villanova had a few too many chances, and um, we know we got to tighten things up, but we knew that going into the scrimmage and um, spent some time working on some defensive shape today, and we'll do some attacking tomorrow, um, some set-piece work, but uh, the normal when you get your first scrimmage and uh, you get tested for the first time. What has you excited about this group of individuals this year? I think first and foremost, the leadership's been tremendous. I think uh, between Mons and Emma, the captains have done a real nice job, and but the upperclassmen as a whole have taken on responsibility, taken on the, the little details. We haven't had to worry too much about those things, and I think the freshmen have been a good group of followers up to this point. They're figuring out the way it works here, and uh, they've done a good job of fitting right in. Compared to your expectations, where are you at in terms of how you want your team to be at this point in the, in the year versus where they are? That's a little bit challenging because their bodies are fatigued, their, their mm -hmm. minds are fatigued, and so it's tough to really assess where they are. Mm -hmm. um, obviously, we've been doing some work with heart rate monitors, and so we know that they're um, putting the work in, but mm -hmm. now it's time to back off a bit and let their bodies come back to, to see exactly where we are going into, going into the season. Big game to open up on Friday. Your thoughts on that? Yeah, West Virginia has been a big challenge for us over the past few years. They've done a good job, and uh, their field's a big one. It's a new one, and uh, they always give us a great game. They always bring a bring their A game against us, so we're we're up for the challenge. What about your overall thoughts on the schedule itself this year? Challenging. You know, we really try to load up the the first half of our schedule to prepare ourselves for the Big Ten. Um, you look at the Big Ten as a whole, and I think it's getting uh, more and more challenging with each passing year to to challenge for that championship. And uh, I think we've um, kind of put on one of the best schedules in the country. Talk a little bit about the Big Ten itself. Uh, you guys picked, picked towards the, the topic once again this year. How challenging has the Big Ten become since you became head coach here? Yeah, it's uh, as I said, it's getting better and better um, over the past few years. You've seen the bottom kind of come up, and now I feel that every one of these ten games is a is a bloodbath. You know, it's mm -hmm. a, every game's a challenge. These road games, especially the Sunday ones, are, are killer, and uh, that's going to make or break your season. How well you're prepared for a Sunday road game. What are your goals and expectations heading into the season? Um, I just want these guys to get better right now. You know, it's mm -hmm. um, November's a long way away, and. They've come in prepared to work, but as I said to them yesterday, I hope that right now is the lowest point of our season and we continue to get better because I do think there's a ton of potential, but um, there's always that fear that you're going to rest on it mm -hmm. and uh, not, not exactly reach it. So really trying to drive them to reach that potential. If there's one area you could pinpoint that you would you would like to, to see improve most heading into the game on Friday, what would it be? Probably set pieces and our focus in the set piece sessions. Uh, I think that's an area where all teams struggle in keeping the attention because they're a little bit mundane and, and boring and these players want to run around. But um, so many games are won and lost on those set pieces, and I just hope that they recognize the importance. First of all, tell us a little bit about how camp's been going. Um, camp up to yet has been really good. Um, we've, we've came in, everyone's strong, everyone's fit most people are really fit um the intensity has been there it's been really competitive um obviously the freshmen have come in they've really settled in um early which has added to the to the effect of the team um and up to yet yeah, it's been really good and, and it's exciting you had a scrimmage last weekend talk a little about how that went um the scrimmage went really well um obviously we won five two it was it's very exciting to see um you know different elements come in come into play um different formation it, it's new to us all we've never really played that formation um, and I think the team responded to it well. You know, we, we played different ways, and it gives us a lot of, um, uh, you know, a lot of different things which, are, which came into play. So with really the, with the scrimmage under your belt now, how excited are you to get Friday here and uh, get the season officially kicked off? Very excited. This is what we've all been playing for. You know, um, preseason's coming to an end, and and it starts with a big game on Friday against uh, West Virginia. So very excited. What about expectations for yourself for the team this fall? Um, expectations. We, we have very high expectations of the team. Um, you know, obviously, we, we want to play every game as they come. We want to want to be winning most games. Obviously, the Big Ten's a, a big thing for our team. And but this year, we, we want to go far in, in the um, the national championship. You know, we we want to be there. We want to be in the final four. Now, you're captain this year. Talk a little about uh, how how much of an honor that is to be captain of the, of the team. 
It's a huge honour, uh, something I take very seriously and, it, and obviously it's, you know, it's an honour to be captain, especially as a junior too. It um, shows a lot of um, respect from the team and something I take very seriously and very excited to, to take that role into the, the um, upcoming games too. Now I've heard you guys have been doing a little bit of team building activities with something involving a spider's web or something like that. Can, yeah. can you explain that to us? Um, basically, yeah, that was a little um, activity Marin brought in. Um, basically, lifting e each of the players up through this spider web to pretty much see how we interact with each other, bring out the leaders of the team, and, and kind of how we solve problems. Um, it, it was pretty cool to see see how we all react. It was good fun. with Megan Monterey. Megan, talk a little about how camp's been going for you this, this fall. Um, camp's been going really well. We've been, um, practices have been really good. Everyone's been coming out intense, ready to go. Um, we came in very fit um, and ready, you know, because we know we can have a good season this year. So practices have been going pretty well. Slowly as preseason starts to wear on our bodies, you know, we're just trying to keep the intensity up and making sure, you know, like we show up every day and are ready to get better for as much as we can. Now you're captain this year. What type of extra responsibility does does that place on you heading into a season? Um, as our team's great, so I mean, yeah, like obviously I have a little bit more responsibility, just you know, like making sure everyone kind of stays a little happier, um, helping people out when they're feeling down, not getting you know like reaping the rewards that they feel they need to, and just kind of trying to help them stay focused on the team and not just themselves. Um, but I mean, like we have a great team. We have leadership, not just in me and Emma as captains, but. Danny Tony, who's also in senior class, um, our juniors, you know, like we have good leadership all over the team that, I mean, yeah, I have a little bit extra, but I know I can have people who have my back and help me out with everything. Now, the scrimmage last weekend, what types of things did you learn from the scrimmage that you want to take into Friday's opening game? Um, well, we learned just learned new formations, so, you know, like we just learned some things where we kind of break down what we need to focus on, um, different spots where, you know, like we know we can attack through um, certain things in defending, you know, like we just learned that like what our strengths and weaknesses with that formation is and you know like I mean we had we won 5-2 so that was a great start we got some goals from freshmen which is even better um, knowing that they can come in here in their first scrimmage and make an impact so we're very excited for them as well um, but yeah we just you know like learned our strengths and weaknesses with him what we need to keep working on up to West Virginia. You're a veteran now heading into senior season what type of expectations do you have? Um, just that we play as a team you know, like everybody helps one another out has each other back on and off the field, um, we accomplish what we want to accomplish. We want to go to the Final Four this year. That's our goal. So just that everybody, you know, like stays on board with that, and we stay together as a team. Tell us something we might not know about Coach Walsh. <laughs> um, what might? She has OCD. Really? Yes. Every cone has to match. Um, if she puts a grid out, you can't have one yellow cone with three orange cones. They all have to be orange cones, and. You know, like if there's two grids next to one another, they can't be the same colors. One has to be blue and one has to be orange. <laughs> OCD is probably our best thing about coach. <laughs>